Hello, this is Susan Duclo from Before It's News and Wake Up America. I'm reading an article at Novell about scientists calling for engineering research into asteroid deflection. It was written on November 11, 2013, and I won't be reading the article word for word. I'm going to skip around, highlight a few things, and I will provide a link in the article that you're reading, or if you're watching the video, there will be a link to this uh, Novell site in the video details. Scientists are warning that the chances of Earth being hit by asteroids are higher than previously thought. They're saying that the event that happened in Russia in February is no longer being seen as an isolating incident. According to the New York Times, meteors of similar size and density to the one that caused such significant damage in Russia may become a regular event across the globe. They're saying that all predictions of this happening once every 100 to 200 years has been quashed by recent research published in the journal Nature. Now, the Russian asteroid injured over a 1,000 people, shattered glass for miles around, and it was only a 60-foot-wide rock streaking through the air at an estimated 40,000 miles per hour, and when it exploded, it released an energy burst that was equivalent to 500,000 tons of TNT believed to have been the largest meteor to hit the planet since the one detonated over Siberia in 1908. What I wanted to highlight is a couple quotes. One from Bill Cook at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in a media teleconference on November 6, where he says over the past few decades, we've seen an impact rate about seven times greater than the current state of the telescopic surveys would indicate. The next quote is from Edward Liu. He is a former NASA astronaut. He has recently petitioned the United Nations to raise asteroid awareness. And he says one kilometer is more than just dangerous. One kilometer is end of human civilization kind of dangerous. So that's, that's huge. He's saying uh, 400 and 50 foot wide asteroid would be equivalent to 150 million tons of TNT. You're not going to wipe out humanity, but if you get unlucky, you could kill 50 million people or you could collapse the world economy for a century or two. So um, I would suggest you click on over. There's more to this article. Uh, thank you for listening and have a good day.